So welcome ladies and gentlemen and Merry Christmas. Yes, today is Christmas Day, depending on where around the world, but I'm sure uh, you had a great Christmas Day if it's already passed. Uh, it may have some places, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys get what you want. Um, I'm actually getting a new microphone. I do know that. I'm getting a snowball mic. Uh, it's not the most expensive in the world, but the reviews are good. And uh, uh, after this video, the sound quality may improve. It may sound different, uh, but just to let you know, I'm getting a new mic. It's going to be just interesting to see how it picks things up. It's not going to be the way I'm doing it right now. I've got a headset on and a mic next to me with the little you know, nozzle hanging out. The mic's going to be sat there on my desk. It's going to pick up any uh, you know, noise that I make. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I do hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas. Get everything you want. Have lots of mince pies, turkey, ham, uh, whatever you eat. Sausages, I don't know. But um, anyway, let's dive into this one. We're playing West Ham today. Couple of changes, but I'm going to leave the middle of the part the same. I thought Mkhitaryan, Fellaini and Herrera worked quite well in the last game. Uh, we're going to bring in Jones instead of Bahi. Valencia replaces Darmian. We're going to have bring in Romero because, once again, I don't understand... Pez's motivation system or form arrows. I really don't. They need to redo these. I mean, David De Gea, he got man of the match in the last match, right? If you got man of the match in the last game, surely you would be buzzing for the next one. But no, he's he's not. So forget it. Uh, we're going to start Rashford, Lukaku, Martial today. Rashford's up for it. And um, yeah, let's do it. Let's Let's see what happens. Against this uh, West Ham side who are lying. I don't know, where are West Ham? Either way, it's quite tight at the top of the table. Lukaku's, uh, you can see, second with the top goals. Uh, West Ham are lying in 11th. Five wins, six losses, three draws. So, yeah, mid-table. But there's the big one to come, ladies and gentlemen. In the next episode, be sure you view that one. Because it's going to be an absolute belter for sure. But anyway, let's get into this one. And see how we get on. Uh, I think it is better making the matches a little bit longer. Certainly more chances. And uh, you guys have enjoyed some of the games, I'm sure. We're going to go for white or black. Let's do the black one. Looks good to me. All right, here we go. There's the bowling ground. No, these aren't the real stadiums. I know people always say that to me. This isn't the real stadium. No, I know, but I'm commentating, okay? I'm trying to be a little bit more realistic here. Be creative, okay? Imagine we're playing at the bowling ground and that's what's happening. Anyway, let's do it. So the rain is coming down. Conditions are wet. The umbrellas are out. And we're ready for a nice game of football, I'm sure. Man United at the back of a 2-1 win against Leicester. And West Ham drawing two apiece in their last match. So off we go. It is uh, going to be a wet one. Players are going to be slipping and sliding. I can guarantee you that. So they've got to try and keep their shape. Romero placing De Gea today. Oh, man, the match performance in the last game against Leicester, which was a very entertaining game. I mean, there were plenty of chances. A couple of goals in there as well. Lukaku outside of the boot, looking for Martial. Oh, he probably could have got there if... He did slide in, sided against it. That's where as a defender you've got to be right on your toes. Valencia back in the side. Been a while since Valencia's played actually. He's been feeling the best. Here's Lanzini. Antonio. United sitting back. Long ball over the top. Zabaleta. Gets it under control. Near post delivery. Flicked on. Nicely worked. Lukaku against Noble. And there's Fellaini. The power of the big man. Bakayoko. Lovely football. And a real fizzer. Wasn't far away. It's a nicely worked move though, isn't it? Give and go. 1-2. Just didn't quite bend enough. It's going to be Marcus Rashford and Joe Hart just got a hold of it in time. It's a good effort. Certainly would have gone in if he missed it. Zabaleta. 
Already got behind the back line a couple of times. Shaw goes flying in. Great deflected clearance, or just a clearance by Lindelof. Alone. Noble. Lays it inside. Antonio. Well played, Herrera. It's a different class. Now here comes Fellaini. Still going. You might as well. Lukaku. Ball over the top. It's Rashford. Can he finish? No, he can't. Saved by Joe Hart. Shaw's done enough. Lays it out wide. Rashford's got the pace. Especially against Zabaleta. But no, Zabaleta's got the experience and know-how to take it off him. There's a chance. If he lays that one over, he's in. Hemet. Can he get it down quick enough? Lindelof is all over him and it's a great challenge by Valencia. Quick as a flash. Mkhitaryan now, he's got some speed. Still going. Referee, that's uh, absolute filth. Didn't want to give it though, did he? Martial did have the ever so slight advantage, but then he'd lost it. By the time he'd lost it, referee couldn't really bring it back. Tonia, ball over the top. Jones stayed with his man, but missed it. He delivers that one in, and there's the header! And whoever that was who's with him should have stuck with him and won the header, but uh, Hemed got ahead of him. Runs over to the camera. Take a smile and take a photo. Well, ball over the top here. Jones should have just cleared it, but he stopped running. Delivers it in. And Lindelof is he's more worried about the defender than going towards the ball. And as soon as this ball's whipped in, you've got to get to that ball quick as you can and just get up and win it. But Hamed, to be fair, rises above him. So what a time to score right before the break. Great time to score. Martial got the line to find Valencia. Marcio again. Still going, Martial. Can he finish? No, he can't. And that will be the last chance of the half. Ah, oh, what a half it was. And we are off, second half. Jesse Lingard replaces Martial. He's taking a little bit of a knock, possibly. So a chance for the Englishman to do something. And he has to. United are a goal down. Mkhitaryan, it's nicely worked by United this, they're going the other flank, Luke Shaw, plenty of time to pick someone out, that is a touch of an absolute donkey there by Luke Shaw, they get a chance to whip it in now Mkhitaryan, but still, got to be a good delivery, and it's towards the near post, it's Fellaini's big head, who got on the end of it, it's cleared off the line, Luke Shaw, Zabaleta, completely made him look like a fall, delivers it in, Lukaku, what a save! What a goal it would have been as well. Unbelievable stuff. And uh, Antonio's onside here because he stayed in his own half. And Romero's coming out, it's walloped off the bar. Herrera finally gets it out, maybe not. Unbelievable start to this second half right here. Ripper by Antonio. And that's delivered in. And that's headed on. And that's a goal kick. God, I'm losing my breath. I'm getting knackered just watching this. Look at this. Fizzed in. Hamed looking for his second goal. Hamed. United are getting overrun here. Really are. Lanzini. Brilliant play. That should be comfortable for Romero. Tony Valencia. Lukaku. Referee, nothing wrong with it, no. Lingard. Herrera. Luke Shaw. Mikatarian. nicely done. Luke Shaw. That's a great run by Shaw, he's hit the post! United just cannot buy themselves a goal here. What a run by Shaw, and now once again, West Ham with a chance to counter. Lanzini, Hemet, 
Oh, United have been carved wide open. And Ramiro's done well, although Arnautovic had a real chance there to take it in his stride. I mean, here, just take it in his stride and finish it. Took it early. It's still full stretch. Valencia looking for Lingard. And here's a chance for Lingard. Rashford has got to get in the box. Delivers it early. Looking for Rashford. Flicked on. Lukaku. It's a lovely turn. And it's past the post. Luigi is getting so frustrated on the sideline that United just cannot score. Right here. Great turn. I don't know why he didn't use his left foot. Oh, Ibrahimovic is going to replace Lukaku. He's looking tired. Ball touches. Pereira. Luke Shaw with the most so far. It's been an enthralling fixture. Somehow this is a 1-0 game. Absolutely no idea how. Zabaleta. Once again, United defensively. Not good enough. And Romero saves it off the line. Just flicked it away. United, aerial-wise today, without Bay, just not winning anything. It's been poor. Valencia back to Lingard Herrera Jones finding Shaw Rashford back to Luke Shaw again Zabaleta I mean this is where United have really got to use what they have they've got the pace Mkhitaryan outside of the boot oh Fellaini once again the delivery is just unreal and Fellaini is, is millimetres. I mean, this is a, possibly the best ball I've seen all season. And somehow Fellaini's missed it. Tough one. I don't know why he didn't use his feet. <laughs> we are still 1-0. Javi Hernandez comes on now, the former United man. He'd love to score against them, I'm sure. And here he is now. Mkhitaryan. Very crowded and congested in the middle. Ibrahimovic. West Ham just they're packing the numbers back now they know United are going to press them here's Hernandez West Ham just seem to keep the ball I just I have the magic touch today Jones it's a good play Lingard now I need once again that long ball over looking for Ibra he did it against Chelsea can he do it again today unfortunately it doesn't look like it's going to happen for the United fans although he has stolen it oh no he hasn't because Rashford wasn't paying attention the referee looks at the watch and that is going to do it and there we have it a massive massive win for West Ham but United will wonder how they did not at least score once with the chances they had throughout this game well there it is I mean we have more on target I mean, they have more overall. What a game, though. I mean, these games are certainly more intriguing when you when you make them longer. Ten shots to nine. Man of the match today was Hemed. I mean, he was different class. Joe Hart made some big saves. Likewise did Romero. So, let's have a look. Any favours in our favour? Well, Tottenham did draw, so that's good. Um, West Brom lost to Newcastle. Chelsea lost again. That's a big one. Liverpool drew. So, yeah, I mean, overall, Arsenal did win. But other than that, we had a chance there to actually push up to third with a win. Uh, we're now seven points behind Arsenal, four points behind Liverpool. Still very close. I mean, anything's going to happen. It's a tough season, but I like it. It's a bit of fun. Crystal Palace bottom of the table. And, and you know what? West Ham deserved it. They played well. I mean, all credit to them there. They put a shift in. They played well. Deserved the three points. So I think maybe a point would have been fair. And anyway, we're going to be back, ladies and gentlemen, for the big one. We are taking on Anderlecht. And this is a must-win game for us. If we win and Porto lose, we qualify. If we win and Porto win, we'll finish in the Europa League. And if we win, or if we lose, sorry, and Anderlecht win, then, well, we're going to be in any competition. So we don't want that to happen. But until next time, have a great Christmas, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.